Hey there, it's the great and powerful Jonah here to bring you another Chaos Commentary. So, if you've been around the CC for a while, you'll probably be familiar with Nero's Q. He was the previous bandwagon in the CC for making two particularly bad videos on Rebel Taxi's review of the Powerpuff Girls reboot. He also did a video on a group known as Anime America, who makes topless relating to anime. To mixed reception. Jason W., my target, made a video on it. And, well, it not good. And while I am aware that the video is a year old, it doesn't look like he stands against anything he said. So it's still fair game. Hit it. person by the name of uh, Nero Q has took it upon himself to have a, well, as I call an itty bitty shitty committee about Anime America, and has made some uptight arguments about some of the stuff they do. Now, I'll admit I didn't watch his full video because uh, not even a third of the way through I was <clears throat> wanting to call him an asshat. Two things here. One, how much sure that because a group of people whose content you like are criticized, you have to insult near us. At least you wanted to. And you might want to remember this because this actually will be important later on. Two, you didn't even watch the full video. You notice this makes it near impossible to take anything you say seriously. But one, if you don't even bother to finish it, it paints you in a bad light, because it means you weren't patient enough to actually listen to the arguments Neros made in the video. And two... Well, we'll come back to that later, too. Because... Anime America does great videos, they do great reviews, top ten lists... Hey Jason, oh how you know that it is a crime to shove an onion in somebody's face. This is a crime that can lead to life imprisonment. All joking aside, though... This is your own personal opinion. You think Anime America is good? Nero, however, does not. And to literally for him to generalize and belittle this group of anime fans that put together a great channel, um... The best way I can put it is... Dumb shit. Generalize and belittle? Yeah, I think this would be easier to believe if you actually gave some proof to where Neos even did those things. It makes this probably even worse, though. They previously said you didn't even watch the full video, which means you're equating criticism for blind hatred. If he doesn't like the channel, then don't watch it. You're really using the don't like, don't watch argument? Well, there goes all your credibility. I could point out all of the flaws of this argument, but I'm going to put it down to two alone here. The first reason is this is a childish tactic, and it sounds like you were legitimately trying to silence Nero. You were technically asking somebody to not have a negative opinion on something and not share it on YouTube, which, might I add, is a platform to share opinions. The second thing is that Nero is a commentator of sorts. His main purpose is to point out the flaws in somebody's channel and then critique it. So if he followed this idiotic advice, it would be telling him to stop his primary content. But, since he's took it upon himself to... <sighs> pull an itty bitty shitty committee, I decided to come, at least in a way, to Anime America's defense. Because, especially since a lot of the people that I know through the convention that I go through, and some of my personal friends, who like Anime America, I feel that they're... they've been painted in a negative light. Okay, I'm having trouble understanding what exactly you're trying to say here. If I chuck this up the bad wording, probably thanks to this video being unscripted, you chuckle muck. But the way this comes off is you saying that Neros directly attacked Anime America fans, or at least tried to shame them. When, no, that didn't happen once. Not once did Nero say anything negative about the fans of Anime America. 
Of course, you would have known this if you actually watched the full video and not been a lazy bum. You know, I heard the voice actor for Garfield was looking for a replacement. I think you would fit the role perfectly. For no justification whatsoever. So, to put it literally, Nero, you need to get off your high and mighty high horse. Implying that Nero tried making himself seem better than Anime America, when all he did was give constructive criticism about how their content needs work. Implying that you aren't making assumptions, implying that life is just an illusion, and we're all destined to die in a ball of aging. Just because you don't like the way they do things doesn't give your sorry little under 2,000 user count ass to bitch, gripe, and complain about somebody else's channel. We're really going there? Really? So because Nier doesn't have to give you high sub count, that means he doesn't have the right to give any amount of critique. The amount of subs somebody has shouldn't really influence anything as long as the points they give are decent. More we'll at it, where does that leave you? You have less subscribers than Nero's, and are complaining about a video he made for taking multiple shots at him because he insulted a group that you are white knighting the fuck out of. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Standard. Especially Anime America that's got a lot more users. Oh, well, not users, but, uh, subscriptions. Subscri. Yeah. Yeah, you got me so pissed off I can't even speak properly. Well, you couldn't really even think properly in this video, so no surprise there. <laughs> A lot more subscribers than you, dude. Well, I can't say you're a dude because you don't have the balls to actually show your face. Wow, I haven't heard this argument used in a while. Okay, let's consider these hypotheticals. Perhaps Neos doesn't want people to see his face and feels more comfortable using an avatar. Perhaps Neos likes using the avatar because it's gonna allow for more jokes than showing other videos of his. He doesn't have to show his face. Oh, or maybe perhaps he doesn't have the money to get the camera he wants for his content. It's not like content creators save money at all. Hmm, I thought of an interesting hypothetical. Imagine this video was actually good. Oh wait, no, then I wouldn't be here. Oh yeah, you might want to remember this part for later. So, if you want to have somebody to really bitch about, why don't you bitch about this old grunt? Sorry, I think that's my job right now. I think I'm doing perfectly fine. Thank you. Alright, I don't even... You and your pathetic animated wannabe scythe ass. Why don't you take that scythe and shove it up your own ass? Look guys, I can't come up with decent arguments to point out why Nero's video is bad. So let me just make an edgy joke in response. Am I cool yet? I think I can just call this video Insult the Response. And it'd be perfectly accurate. And quit being a little bitch and using it, supposedly using it on people that... ...are not even... ...in your own demographic. Oh hey look, the bad wording is back. In his own demographic? I don't understand what that even means. I've tried and tried to see if I could understand what you were trying to say, but nope, it's no use. Miros only uses the cipher at the end of his videos in the profile of the picture he's covering. Given the definition of demographic, I don't see if this is really a point against Miros. I mean, not that you've made a good point already, but details, details. So, to you, Nero Q, Nero, Nero, whatever, go smeg yourself. This isn't bullying, this is telling somebody to quit being a jerk. Oh my gosh! Everybody run! It's hypocrite, Zilla! All oh, joking aside, though. No. No, you can't say you aren't bullying and then tell Nero to do that. It's almost funny. You bully Nero and then immediately backpedal afterwards saying it isn't. It would be like if I told somebody, Hey, you should go drink bleach. But hey, I'm not bullying you. It's not like my target would be badly offended. I think I actually mean what I say and think they're a bad content creator. Or person, whatever the situation is. And on that note, you were the last person to be talking about being a jerk. Not deciding to watch Nero's video in full, using subs as a means to discredit him. Your description makes you sound like a jerk. What well, all Nero's did was talk about the flaws of a channel. Get robbed! Uh, by the way, if you think that joke was serious and used that as a means to discredit me, this was clearly a joke. You dummy head. 
The guys and girls over at Anime America do great work. I love their channel. You know, some people like a knight in shining armor. That doesn't count. I doubt white knights get that same amount of love. How much you're praising Anime America is a good channel. You can't tell me you aren't biased. Never go into a video of bias. Put it aside and you'll be able to avoid... Well... This. You know, actually, to come to think about it, the arguments and the pissy fits that you have sounds familiar in some way. Oh, yeah. The same type of bullshit third wave feminists pull. Well, this statement is all different types of wrong. Fucking if you're comparing a criticism of an anime channel to groups that support gender equality, it shows that this video is fueled by spite. Spite and nothing more, and is honestly beginning to disgust me. I'm ending this here. I think I'll allow my other half to share his thoughts. Huh? Sorry, be right there, just getting a new avatar. I hate you. So much right now. Oh, I know you love me. They all do. Anyway, you know, when I first saw this, I was expecting a butthurt response to Nero's. And that's exactly what I got. My main issue with this is that you tried to make it seem like you were being the nice guy when really, all you were doing was being a spiteful little brat who tried to mercilessly insult his target purely because he went after a group you admired. You are by far the most despicable person I've covered, and I suggest changing your tune if you ever want to get anywhere on YouTube. Now, you can either listen, or you can respond, and make my job ever so much easier. What you gonna do? Anyway, it is Jonah and Miros. Both same reflect.